Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with another mastery challenge walkthrough. This one is for Wenlocan Outpost, the Trial of the Raven. This approach may be easier than others you've tried for two reasons. First, it does not use the Raven Distraction ability. And second, because it does the objectives in two phases. First, assassinate all the guards, and then collect the artifacts. Similar to my method for the bear trial at this shrine, where I completed the fall damage kills and then the me melee kills. For that and my other walkthroughs, see my playlist linked on screen and in the description below. My first assassination is this guard right here on the platform to the right of the platform where Eivor started. And my initial strategy here is to take out these two guards on the platforms to my right. And I don't want to go through the chimes there. So I'll hang off the ledge and then climb up. If you don't like that, you can jump down and go up the ladder. And now I'm going to head over to the middle of the fort and cross over to the waterfall. The guard below me to my right will kill later. The guard on that center platform will kill in a few minutes. But right now we're going up to three guards who are on the cliffs here. The first one I'm going to get by jumping onto the wall and doing a little air assassination. And then there are two other guards below here. I'm going to use the chain assassination where Eivor throws the axe, but you can also do them one at a time since both guards have their backs to you. And now climb up onto this tent and jump out of the fort. I'm going to go out of the fort and back in again. And this time I purposely hit the chime so the guard will hear me and come after me. So then I can assassinate him while I'm in the tall grass. So that guard just heard me, he's coming towards me, and when he gets close, I assassinate him. I did this by accident once and it worked really well because then I don't have to carry him into the bushes. And this guard over here, sometimes he will come towards you and sometimes he'll go around like he's doing here. But either way, just wait in the bushes here for that other guard to come to you and assassinate him. Or if he doesn't come to you, you can go get him and carry him into the bushes here. Now that we've gotten those two guards on the ground, it's time to go around outside the fort and back in again to take care of that enemy on the center platform that we noticed before. To do that, we're going to climb up the ladder to the right and then up the second ladder so we can air assassinate this guard just ahead of us. But we're not going to pick up the artifact. We'll wait till the end for that and then turn around and get the guard on the ground behind this platform. And now go around to the right and take out that guard below the tent with his back to you. There's only four guards left, three in this open area and one inside the cave. And I'm gonna save the one in the cave until last, although you could get him now if you wanted. And I'm gonna take care of these two guards. First this one, and then you can use chain assassination, 
depending on the position of the second guard, you might be able to kill both of them at once. But the second guard here wasn't close enough, so I have to follow and get behind him and assassinate him that way. And now there's only one guard left, the one inside the cave under the waterfall. And as you've probably figured out, the trick with this one is you need to climb up the wall and over those wooden chimes or else you have a chance of alerting the guard. And then once you dispatch with this guard, you can collect all the artifacts. However, if you have been collecting the artifacts as you go along in this mission, which is definitely a great way to do it, be sure that you assassinate this final guard before collecting the last artifact. Because when you've collected all four artifacts, the trial will end. But in order to get gold on this mission, you'll need to assassinate all the guards before stealing the artifacts. And here is the last guard. And now I can collect the four artifacts. Now you definitely can steal the artifacts as you go along instead of waiting until the end like I did here. There's lots of ways you can complete this trial, but this is the way that worked for me. How did it work for you? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla and check the description below for my playlist with other mastery trials walkthroughs where I try to find the fastest and easiest approach. And of course for this one the biggest challenge was remaining anonymous for the entire mission. And here is the last artifact to complete the trial with a gold score. This is Amber. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.